All right, we do not have time to go through this problem by problem right today. So what I would like for you to do is just kind of start looking through the problems and tell me when you hit one you don't know how to do. That's the purpose of review. Which one do we not know? Semester two or all the way to semester two? Did the one not say number two? <laughs> We're on the sheet. It just, it's just our review. Sheet. My sister-in-law is being buried tomorrow, so I have that tonight and all day tomorrow. So I, I don't know. I take care of my husband. It's his only sister, so things are a little rough right now. So I'm not gonna make any promises. Obviously, I know there's timeliness involved. I'll do it as quickly as I can. All right. Who um, has found a question? Which one? 1B. One 1B. One we are simplifying. Oh, shoot. Did I turn this on? We are simplifying. Yep. So, what I would recommend is that you always change everything into sines and cosines. So, I have gone through problem 1B and I have changed everything into sines and cosines. Sam, I need you to put your phone away. I need you to take your hood off. I need you to put a pencil in your hand. I want you to write this down. Okay? You, you're going to have to take the exam. Come on. Give yourself a fighting chance. Now, this problem is a straight multiplication, so I'm just going to start canceling, and that looks like everything that'll cancel. So, now I'll multiply straight across. I have sine squared over cosine squared, which I know is tangent squared. So, if you have forgotten some of those big identities, like sine over cosine is tangent, you really need to get those back in your brain. Not just for this exam, but what for, for what's coming next for you. Those of you that take calculus, you need to know this. Um, okay, so let's find another one. We do not have to be on the first page. There's a lot of pages here. So what else do you see as you go through that we need to work on? Remember the ones with an asterisk next to them are the calculator problem. So the test will be grouped you know, no calculator, calculator. And the starred ones go together. Also, remember the test doesn't have this many problems on it because you only have one class period to do it. But these are the problems that are on it. All right, so quickly, what else? Let's do another one. What else have we got? Who else sees one? 14. Okay, so we have to list... Notice we don't have to actually sketch it. We just have to list all of the important information about it. So, does anybody remember anything about this in terms of amplitude, period, phase shift, vertical shift, and frequency? Anybody remember any of that? Amplitude is four. That's the height of the curve. If you were going to sketch this, you go up four, up to four, and down to negative four, right? At least to start with. Now, right on period, where does that come from? That's the, the horizontal length of the curve. That comes from this number, but it's always for sines and cosines. It's two pi divided by that number. Because the standard period of the cosine and sine is pi, is two pi, excuse me. And so we divide by this number. This number divides your period. So that's pi. Your frequency then is one over pi. Remember, frequency is just the reciprocal of the period. Now, what about the, the shift, the sideways move? This is your horizontal shift. It's called phase shift or horizontal shift. Look at your equation. You should know this. This is like a really basic concept. How is this thing shifting sideways? Right, pi over three. And how is it shifting vertically? 
of one. Ay, 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 people, don't you remember a number on the end like that? Picture curve up and down. And when it took the DX, it moves sideways. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we know, we know something we need to review. We need to review that. Okay. Good question, evidently, Caroline. All right. What else? Quickly, which one? There has to be something else we don't know how to do. Eight. 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 Okay, these are partial fractions. So the first thing we need to do is, Gabby, where are you? The first thing we need to do is factor our denominator. So our denominator factors into x minus 3x plus 2. So that has to be the first thing that you do. Because those factors are going to be the denominators of your partial fractions. Your, your little fractions are going to have the factors as the denominators. Now, if I multiply everything, I take that equation right there. If I multiply everything by x minus 3 and x plus 2, and I always write this down, but you don't have to, obviously, a bunch of stuff is going to cancel out. That's the whole purpose of doing the multiplication. So this is going to cancel, and I'm left with 10x plus 5. This is going to cancel, so I'll be left with AX plus 2A. That's going to cancel, so I'm left with BX minus 3B. Okay, that wasn't that long ago that we did that. Hopefully that looks familiar to you. Now, from that big long equation, you're going to get a couple smaller equations because you notice that this side of the equation has some x's, and this side has some x's. Those x's are equal. So 10 equals a plus b. And then the other things without x's are equal. So 5 equals 2a minus 3b. Right? So what have I got? What is that? system of equations. Yep. And you're going to use whatever you want. Substitution, elimination, Kramer's rule, inverse method, whatever you want to do, you're going to do to solve that. Um, I think I will just eliminate because that's what I always do. So I'll multiply the top by negative 2 and add it to the bottom. And negative 15 equals negative 5b, so b is 3. I eliminated. You can do something else if you want. So what do I do once I find b is 3? Plug it back in somewhere. So if I put in b is 3, it looks like a has to be 7. And then this is about the only time that you don't answer as an ordered pair. When you do a system, normally we answer as an ordered pair. This time we're going to go back and say, okay, our partial fractions are 7 over x minus 3 plus 3 over x plus 2. That would be the answer to the question. Because you were finding the small fractions that add up to the original fraction. Okay, one more. Here we go, quickly. Twenty-five. Uh, regular octagon. This is a, definitely a calculator problem. A regular octagon. Okay, so okay, so 
so I'm going to find the area of this thing, and all I know is that the radius of the circle, uh, circumscribed circle, is 10 inches. Okay, anybody remember how we did this? We split it all up into triangles. So you don't need to draw them all, but clearly you could draw in a bunch of congruent triangles, right? And every one of those lines I just drew is a radius, so it's 10, every single one of them. So I've got eight triangles that are all equal. Agreed? Okay, so let's focus on one of them. Let's focus on this triangle right here. What do I know about that angle right there? 45 degrees. 45 degrees. And we know it's 45 degrees because there's eight of them that are all equal and they add up to 360. Okay? Now, who remembers how to, that, that triangle right there, you can find the area of right now. Who remembers our little formula, one of our little formulas, to find the area of a triangle? One half, side, side, sine. I think that might be in another review problem, so that's probably something you need to remember. One half, side, side, sine. So, I just type that into my calculator, keeping in mind that that's the area of the triangle, right? So I got an area now for this triangle, but if I want the whole octagon, I'll have to times by eight. So I got for the octagon, I got the area to be 282.84 square inches. That, those are pretty easy problems. Hopefully that rang some bells. Now that we did it, we can remember that. Next question you see like that might not be an octagon, it might be something else, but you'll do it exactly the same way, right? Okay. All right, well, please, before Monday, look through that sheet, draw a circle around anything we need to do. Because if you don't tell me what to do, I'm just going to start.